Today, we are going on vacation. As part of our adventure, we are traveling by an airplane. I have traveled before on an airplane with a ventilator. Although it takes a little extra planning and packing, flying with a ventilator can be done. The car is all packed. It is time to leave for the airport. Let's go. Hello, we made it to the airport. We are getting unloaded. My mom's inside right now trying to get us checked in. Once we get checked in, then we get to go through security and I hope and pray that goes really well. I have lots of stuff with me, including TPN, which I hope TSA lets me go through with TPN. Then we're off to our gate. We get to wait for our plane and then zoom, zoom, off in the sky we go. So it's a bit of an update. Bye for now. Hello, I made it through security. I'm a little bit frazzled and I really need my TPN. I am just shaking right now. <laughs> my blood sugar has dropped. But unfortunately, there's a bathroom right there. It is closed conveniently. So I'm waiting for my mom because she needs to go do a couple things and come back. But I thought while I'm sitting here, I thought, oh, that'd be great. I can sit and hook up my heated humidifier. Let me show you. This is my heated humidifier. And there goes my ventilator. And you need this little thing on top called the water chamber. I forgot to bring that. And I'm really praying that I put it in my checked luggage. I'm pretty sure I put a brand new water chamber in my, in my luggage, but I was gonna take my water chamber that I use regularly and bring that and so I could fill it with water and get some moisture into my lungs while I wait here. But I forgot it. <laughs> I am so upset because we have about an hour before our flight and I was thinking, oh, my heated humidifier, it's nice, warm, moist air and that can get into my lungs and help hydrate them and make flying a lot easier. But heated humidifier, no water chamber. So I'm really frazzled about that. And after going through security and I'm just like, I give up. <laughs> Is it time to go home yet? So that's been our grand adventure and I really hope and pray our flight goes well. And I'm hoping this all goes really well with no delays or weather issues or anything of that sort. So thanks so much for joining me. That's a bit of an update. Bye for now. Hello again. A bit of an update. We were able to resolve the heated humidifier crisis. I do have a heated humidifier water chamber, which looks like this. <laughs> this is not my normal heated humidifier. My normal heated humidifier water chamber is different. This one is plugged into a water circuit. Um, I'm not plugged into the water circuit, but that's okay. I'm just fill it up with regular old uh, distilled water and it's working beautifully. So I can use this while I wait for the airplane and I'm so excited and so happy. And the other good news, a bathroom right across. It's just opened up and I'm going to go because I've got to go. So that's a bit, bit of an update. Bye. So items I bring along with me, uh, my carry-on bag, I have my ventilator tubing that I'm going to be using on board the plane. This is not a heated wire system, it's just a regular uh, ventilator tubing and it has my nice big heated humidifier. This is going to retain a lot of heat and moisture when I'm on the airplane, it's going to be fabulous. I have my nebulizer, it's all already put together. Um, this is my bag which had my water chamber in. I also have an extra tracheostomy tube in here. I have extra HMEs and I have some other stuff in here. I also have saline to run through my nebulizer, so if I need to run my nebulizer, I have that. I have here one portable ventilator. I have a big bottle of distilled water, or actually it's sterile water, but same difference. I have over here, I have my heat humidifier, it's plugged in with the water in the water chamber, this is while we're waiting. It's plugged into the outlet and my ventilator stand and of course my extra ventilator. So this is everything I'm bringing with me on board the plane and I also have medicine here in my backpack. I also have a couple extra things um, such as I have an obturator with me and um, some inner cannulas with me just in case my tracheostomy tube gets plugged with mucus. So I have lots and lots of stuff with me and hopefully this will make it a safe and fun and adventurous trip. Bye for now.
Hello, we are on board the plane. It was very exciting. We got pushed all the way to the front of the line. That was very, very exciting because I have to sit in a window seat with having a ventilator and sometimes they don't do that. But today they did, so I got to pick anywhere I wanted to sit. And of course, I'm sitting at the front with my window. So I'm very happy and very excited. Hello, we made it to our hotel. My lungs are extremely dry from a long day of traveling. I have my heated humidifier running to restore moisture back to my lungs. Although I wore a heat and moisture exchanger for the entire time I was traveling, my lungs are very dehydrated. I am going to run 5 to 10 milliliters of saline through my nebulizer to help loosen up the mucus which has accumulated in my tracheostomy tube. That's a bit of an update. Bye for now. Hello, now that my lungs are rehydrated, let me discuss my experience while flying. When we ascended into the air, it became very difficult to breathe due to the decrease in air pressure. As we reached our cruising altitude, I felt my body struggle to breathe. I put on my headphones and tried to distract myself to prevent myself from thinking about how hard it was to breathe. Thankfully, I had a YouTube video to edit which kept my attention focused on something besides how challenging it was to breathe. I was very grateful when it was time for our airplane to start descending as it made its way back down to the ground. I also want to mention most airlines require people who use a ventilator to sit in a window seat. Please call the airline ahead of time and make sure a window seat is assigned to the person using the ventilator. Additionally, if you're flying on an airline which does not have seating assignments, make sure the gate agent understands you have a breathing machine which requires you to have a window seat. I am very happy when it was time to board the airplane, the airline employee knew this information. He pushed me all the way to the front of the line to ensure I got a window seat. Tomorrow, we're going to the cruise ship terminal to go on an exciting cruise to South and Central America. If you'd like to see more fun and adventures about traveling with a ventilator, or if you'd like to see my travel journey, please see the video playlist, Cruising with TPN and Event. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Happy travels. Bye-bye. Hello, as I was editing this video, I realized there was one part of the video which was not clear. When I was at the airport, I was very stressed out about my heated humidifier and water chamber. Let me clarify that situation. First, I have two water chambers I use. For the one water chamber, it sits on top of my heated humidifier. I fill it by pouring water into the water chamber. The second water chamber I have is more complex. It has a water line which feeds into the water chamber. At the end of the line, there is a spike. The spike is pushed through a cap. The cap is screwed onto a water bottle. The water bottle is hung up. Using gravity, the water bottle fills the water chamber. When traveling, I planned on using the regular water chamber at the airport and the first night we spent at the hotel. The water chamber with the water line and water bottle I was going to use on the cruise. My plan was to do the following. I was going to place the water chamber with the water line and the water bottle in my checked luggage. In my carry-on bag, I was going to place my regular water chamber. Instead, I placed my regular water chamber and water bottle in my checked luggage and my water chamber with the water line in my carry-on bag. I was panicked when I got to the airport and wanted to use my water chamber. 
I did not think I could use my water chamber with the water line because the water bottle I needed to use with it was in my check luggage. After praying about the situation, I suddenly realized I could use the water chamber with the water line even if I did not have the water bottle. The water bottle is just needed to automatically fill the water chamber. If I pour water into the water chamber by hand, the water chamber will still work. Additionally, if you're flying on an airline which does not have assigned seating, make sure the gate agent understands you have a breathing machine which requires you to have a window seat. Oh man! <laughs> that would be the fire alarm, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, way to screw up. Okay. Here we go again.